Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 17. Um, I am not entirely awake yet, but I have a Zoom that starts shortly. I slept late. Um, can't show you the last day because it's already knit into that. It's already in here. Um, let's see if I can find the rest of it. Oh, here we are. This is what we, what yesterday's color was. Um, this is today's color, the 17th. I probably won't start knitting on this for a bit because I am currently working on the sleeves, but I'm doing them. Um, I work on one and then I go to the other, I work on that and then finishing the colors but um I'm just about to start the sugar cookie so as soon as I do six rows of the sugar cookie on this sleeve then I'll go do six rows on the other sleeve so I don't have a lot of this sleeve done but I worked on this sleeve after I finished yesterday's color so um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish out the sleeves. I should be able to um, because I have to do the whole sleeve and the other sleeve. Maybe we'll be able to stay up with the colors at least to some degree and not run out of work to do but if we do we'll just go back to the cabled sweater um but it's looking like i might actually finish even the sleeves before the end of the month and i just think that would be so lovely um anyway so um yeah so that's that and let's open this one, which is day 17 of the swap. 15 and 16 were different shades of gray. Let's see what 17 is. Oh, nice. It's a white. This is a, like a bleached white. It's not a, um, a natural that's nice. Neutrals are never, especially neutrals in sock yarn, never a bad thing to have minis of those. Um, so, um, the question that I wanted to answer today, or the tip for today, is using tape measures and, um, consistency um, if you're using a ruler that is like um, a wooden ruler odds are the wooden yardstick or ruler is probably going to stay pretty the same same um, measurements but a tape measure can get bented or twisted or if it's the fabric ones they can stretch and the last thing that you want to do is use a stretch out tape measure to measure the fabric that you're making or to use a stretched one for your body and then use a brand new one when you're measuring your garment it's okay if you're using a stretched out one for measuring your body if you're using that same stretched out one for the sweater because they're both skewed so it's not that significant also if you're you have asked a friend to measure themselves and they're pulling out one of those fabric um Tape measure, it's not really tape, I can't remember what they call it, but anyway, it's the tape measure, but it's made of fabric used in sewing quite frequently. If they're using one that was their grandmother's that's 40 years old, 
odds are that is not very accurate and you're using a brand new one odds are your garment that you make for them is going to be skewed it may be too small so just wanted to let you know that just because it's tape measure doesn't mean that it's necessarily fully accurate with all other tape measures so if you're using different tape measures say you have 20 of them um i mean obviously if they're all new they're you're fine but if they're made of a fabric or a material that can stretch over time you may want to be consistent with that project and only use that tape measure for that project including measuring yourself so that was something that i that might be a helpful tip. And then I haven't given favorites in quite some time. And I thought I would share a favorite. Um, I don't know if it's an app. I haven't seen to check to see if I can get it on an, as an app. I need to check that. But stitchfix.com. S T I C. S-T-I-T-C-H. I think that's how it is. Anyway, stitchfixfix.com. It's, you can use it without having to pay any money. Um, but it does have a paid subscription, which gives you way more um, features. Um, but you can design your own color work charts. You can design your own cable charts, your own crochet charts, your own all kinds of, I think, cross stitch chart. It's just really, really handy. And if you are planning to do any kind of designing and sometimes you can do your chart first in Stitch Fix and then add a written instruction that mirrors that um, chart can be real helpful so anyway just thought I would share and one of my favorites and a tip so that's all I have for today okay so um, the if you would like to join us on zoom on Sundays is at 10 a.m. Central and 11 a.m. Eastern that's US time zones and the um, information will be in the description box below. Have a happy um, Sunday and enjoy Vlogmas and your December. Bye.